Hey guys, Jared Lindner out here on my local lake. And uh, you know, recently I've been getting asked a lot of questions about Sunline, the different types of line, and they have many, many great options. And I kind of keep it simple for the way I fish and, and what I've kind of grown, you know, accustomed to doing and my confidence. So I'm gonna go through that really quick with you. So first of all, braided line, uh, frogging, flipping, punching, buzz baits, um, you know, things of that nature. FX2 braided line is my go-to. Um, you know, super strong. I just never have any issues with it. Cast great, fish is great. So that's kind of what I do for all those applications. Now, SX1 braid is my spinning rod kind of application. The only thing that I kind of do different with this though is when I get to 30 and 40 pound SX1, I'll throw a lot of swim jigs, um, you know, smaller type applications where I'm casting long, long ways, really good. But mainly what I do with this is spinning rods. Uh, tie a FG knot to a leader, cast extremely well, extremely sensitive. You know, when you're drop shotting or throwing a shaky head, that extra sensitivity is gonna help you detect those bites, get a good hook set and land those fish. Then we move into a, a real broad topic, fluorocarbon. So the way I kind of do things is, first of all, this Sniper FC is kind of my all purpose, um, you know, from throwing bladed jigs to throwing swim baits, uh, you know, Texas rigging, things of that nature. I, I'm always going with the FC Sniper. Now, when I'm throwing like, you know, a heavy contact, bottom contact, uh, like a jig, uh, a large Texas rig worm, like a 10 inch power worm or something like that, you know, dragging on the bottom over shell beds, really abrasive stuff. I'm going with shooter. And, uh, you know, not only that, I, I flip with it a lot also, even though we got a new line that I'm going to talk about here real quick. But uh, shooter is... Yeah, I mean, in my opinion, with my heavy action rods and bigger equipment, that's what I'm going with. Or even if I'm throwing, say, uh, you know, a small swim bait around some docks or some structure, whatever, that's the line I'm going to, shooter. Now, a brand new line that just came out is Power 2 FC. Jason Christie helped design this. Um, and it's, it's in the fluorocarbon family, but what it's got is the markings. So you can see right here, we got, it looks orange, right? But what, what it is essentially is for power fishing. So anything from 16 to 25 pound test, you can be really aware of getting those bites, you know, like in this color water here behind me, it's really hard to see, you know, a clear fluorocarbon line, but with that, orange stripe in there it happens every like three feet so you know you don't have to worry about fishing your line and all that but it's gonna when that line jumps you're gonna detect it visibly and be able to set the hook catch those fish super abrasive resistant and um yeah super strong super powerful so i'm stoked about that i've been using that for i don't know ever since last year's icast then we get into I do a ton of cranking, throwing jerk baits, lipless crank baits. Um, I always go with the crank FC. For me, that's the best overall reaction bait line there is. Um, throw a lot of 12 pound, a lot of 14, a lot of 16 on my lipless crank baits. Um, it's just, it's got the right amount of stretch, but the at the same time, you know, when one loads up on it, it's not gonna pull like a monofilament would and stretch too much and you're gonna lose those fish. So really good combination. Crank FC is pretty much anything type of reaction bait, like, like I mentioned, crank baits, jerk baits, lipless crank baits, that's what I'm going with. Then we get into the monofilament or the nylon category. I love this Defire. Um, you know, this here is 17 pound test. Uh, poppers, walking surface type baits, even some of my swim baits, some of my wake baits. Um, I'm going with Defire. It's a it's a nylon type line, so it's going to float up on the water. the The whole deal is, and I, I see this mistake a lot, is 
if you're throwing a topwater bait, you don't want it, you don't want to throw it on 100% fluorocarbon. What it's going to do is that 100% fluorocarbon is going to pull the nose of that bait down and drag, and you're going to get into some issues. So having the right monofilament is going to make that line float. It's going to make that bait work perfect, and you're going to get more bites. I promise you. So the defier is where I go. So these are my set, basic setups. This is what I carry in my boat. Sunline, like I mentioned, has a ton of other awesome lines like Assassin. I use that sometimes, you know, throwing uh, soft jerk baits and stuff like that. A ton of other lines. This is just what I do and I have my confidence in. Make sure and check them all out on tacklewarehouse.com.